Hello everybody, in this video we take a look at more gameplay for help yourself. I just love this game so much uh, that I have to show more gameplay. Uh, I already posted the video, you can actually check it out at the top right corner if you miss it. Kind of more in-depth uh, explanation about the game. Uh, so uh, this game is about time loop, it's a virtual reality game where you need to manage yourself in a time loop by placing clones in those hot areas you see there, marked areas, and you need to interact with your clones uh, actions uh, which their action is what you did in the past uh, in order to be able to solve puzzles in this case we need to eliminate all the enemies the robots there and there's a pistol there's a magazine actually thrown on the right side and a shield in the middle so the idea is to try to look around and see actually how to approach this now again there are many levels this is just one of them so basically i'm standing there trying to figure out how i can actually eliminate all en those enemies again the thing is that uh, I thought, all right, all that I needed actually just, you know, to shoot the enemies straight, right? So what's the shield is actually there? Now, probably there is a way, of course, to use the shield to protect it. But again, you have different ways to approach the mission. So what I did first, again, as you can see, this is the first clone. The action that I did is actually the animation will be replicated. I throw the gun to the right side. Now I actually position myself in the middle and just throwing the shield. I need to stop it. If those projectiles hit me, I'm going to reset. So I need to make sure that they don't hit me and I'm going to throw it there and again end my turn. I end my turn. Now I actually see the two clones doing their thing, right? So you can see all my actions, the animations are actually replicated, right? So I can override, by the way, one thing. I can override the action that I did for the last one. Uh, here I'm actually positioning myself at the back and I couldn't actually get the gun. This one actually protects me and this is the shield that I throw to myself for the third for the third clone to actually capture it's pretty cool i told myself oh i'm gonna throw the shield there but the problem is that i just threw it too much i underestimate the power of my throat so i need to try again so as you can see here uh i can reposition me behind the the second clone because it will protect me from projectiles you can see here All right so actually i'm safe here because i'm protecting myself but this wasn't a good idea. You see, I'm throwing the gun there, by the way. I couldn't catch it because I already threw it. My first one threw it too far away. I'm just asking myself, what, what am I actually doing now? I'm getting the shield, but I'm throwing the shield right now appropriately, ending the turn to go to the fourth clone. And then there's a problem. Well, I can get the magazine, I can reload, but I can't actually shoot enemies. <laughs> If, I mean, that's the idea, you need to really, I mean, I can't really move uh, right now. I mean, like you can move, by the way, in the 3D space, but I won't be able to get to the point where I can actually see enemies and shoot them. So it actually was a bad idea. I have the shield, I have the weapon, but I couldn't do anything. Crap. So once I figure out it doesn't work, I need to try again. So I need to reset everything and try from the beginning. That's fine. You have also timer, by the way. So if the timer runs out, you fail. So we need to make sure that you do things, uh, you know, in good pace, right? Some will be more stressful than others, but I think the, the more challenging thing is just to figure things out in the beginning before you actually do this. Of course, you can experiment, but it's better if you just to look at the battlefield and see how to approach each puzzle. So I'm restarting the level here from the beginning. Uh, I'm just looking around what I can do and then figuring out, hey, wh what I actually need this shield. The only thing I need is a magazine. Right, because the gun is already there, the magazine is there, so I'm just gonna spawn to the last area there. Oh, it's not last area actually, it's gonna be the first clone. The first clone is gonna spawn there, and I'm gonna throw the magazine to the area where I want the second one to start shooting the enemies behind cover. Now, actually, when I'm behind cover, and because this is a, a VR game and a room scale game, you actually can crouch, so actually, enemies you can actually evade the enemy's projectiles. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to just throw, uh, but then I threw it <laughs> too far. I actually need to throw it exactly, you know, very close to the location where it can actually either uh, pick it up or catch it while in midair. The reason I can actually capture it in midair is because I can actually, when I spawn the second clone, I can actually uh, just uh, see the animation of the magazine being thrown and just capture it in midair. So what you can see me doing is just finishing my turn and then spawning uh, to, uh, uh, by the way, I spawned here, but this is not a good uh, uh, thing to do. So I just wanted to throw a shield for myself. 
but uh, later I realized that they actually don't need it. So basically I just throw both the shield and the magazine so I can have them both. Now shield can be good by the way, um, to protect you against projectiles, but it's not actually needed here. And I actually like the idea that I can actually have creative options for approaching the level. So I could do it with the shield, but I could have done without this. So I'm restarting the level again because I need to throw the magazine correctly so I can actually capture it. Uh, again, this one was just a bit too much. I first thought, oh, maybe I can capture it, but only when you get there, you can actually see exactly if it was actually accurate or not. So I'm doing it again, throwing the shield, ending the turn before actually getting hit. And just looking at the clones throwing things at me. You see both the ma this one and, and I couldn't get it. <laughs> Basically, I could use both the shield and the magazine if I throw it uh, properly. I try to move a bit, like, uh, but I just couldn't reach it. I just couldn't reach it. So basically, uh, again, uh, even if you know how to do the puzzle, still you need to make sure that you there's involved some, you know, you need to do things right, physically right, in this case. But again, it's really cool that there are many ways to approach a level. So I'm throwing it again. Again, wasn't good. So I need to restart again. I need to throw it in a, in a way that I know they can actually capture it with the second clone, right? So I'm throwing because I'm going to see my past action of my first clone, which is this clone actually throwing it. Now I'm adding my turn. I'm just going to the where the first clone is located. I actually see it now. This was, wasn't good either. I won't be able. So I need to start again. <laughs> again and again and again reminds me something from a movie yeah age of tomorrow same thing so we try again throwing this one this one looks pretty good pretty good i think i can actually capture it so i go to the second clone and all right let's see can i capture it no Oh my god. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Try again. I need to capture it. That's the thing. I need to capture it. So I'm overriding again. I can override a clone. And capture. All I need is the magazine. And I captured the magazine. Now I actually don't need the shield. I actually really like if the game would kind of uh, give you extra points if you able to do this with less turns. So now all I need to shoot properly. And again, I have limited amount of ammo. So I need to one shot. Hide, you see I can actually hide, I don't need the shield for it. One shot, I'm hiding. Need to be careful, almost got hit there. Shoot. And one, I missed one. Shooting again, and that's it. <laughs> so as you can see, this is so fun, so satisfying. Approaching different levels, there are many levels guys, by the way, this is pre-alpha. And uh, there's going to be a level editor as well when the game launches, so it's going to be even more amazing. Imagine all the levels you can actually create and replay. So insane, insane game. Uh, again, pre-alpha, already looking amazing. I hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me what you think about this game in the comment section below, and I'm going to see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.